Welcome to the Eclectic Thrift and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Small Talk Sunday. Pour yourself a cup of tea and join me in the project. It all started with an abandoned box of doll furniture, and hopefully by summer I'll have a build that looks just like this or as close to it as I could get. Before we begin our project, we're going to make a new jig. I'm going to repurpose this the old cookie sheet for a larger surface area for making larger pieces of furniture, such as the bookshelves that we're going to be making today. I've simply taken a Home Depot yardstick, I've sanded the edges and rounded them so that they're going to fit as snugly as possible in each of the corners and that will give it a nice square flush fit. A perfect way to repurpose a cookie sheet because these jigs are very expensive online. I have saved enough money by making my own jigs that I can now purchase the magnets that are designed for use with jigs to glue small items. I will share that purchase with you next Sunday. There, we are almost done and I have a new jig with a larger surface area. I've cut my shelves, I've cut the backs, and I've cut the sides. Now because I needed craft sticks that were at least nine inches long, I had to trim these, so I'm going to use this trim for molding and other smaller projects for the build. We've moved upstairs to the craft room, so now we're going to get started assembling our bookshelves. There are some imperfections, but I'm not too worried about that. I can fill them in with paper mache before I start staining or painting any of the shells. I'll have that project finished next Sunday. We are getting to the point where I'm going to be assembling rooms as I finish the outer walls. I am going to glue two shelves together and double their thickness before I get started assembling.
was a busy couple of days making all of the bookshelves we need for the build. I like doing things in assembly line fashion and getting things out of the way as quickly as I can. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends and help me to reach 1,000 subscribers. I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.